Hey, I'm Stacy from StacyStJohn.com. And I'm Valerie from QuillDecor.com. And we are here to help you better your BNB. This is our weekly show where we review one property's listing and interiors in 15 minutes or less. Speaking of 15 minutes, Val, I'm starting this timer. Okay, let's go to North Carolina again. We have done so many North Carolina places lately, and I am here for North Carolina. Love it. <laughs> and from this Tennessee, is I love the South. Everything about North Carolina is just the woods and the nature. Okay, let's go. It's let's pretty gorgeous. In. Pretty gorgeous. So we are reviewing Kaylee's listing, and she is in Glenville, North Carolina. Val, let's talk about these Fab Five photos. I have a few opinions. I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are. So the only one that I would change is the main photo. And the reason is, this is the photo, this big square one, is the one that gets you into the booking. And although I think that pizza oven, stone oven, outdoor situation is, I think it's super cool. And it's definitely a draw to the property. This isn't an enticing photo because most of what you see, although it is really cool mosaic on the side, you also see the cinder block bricks, which I think is maybe what you see first. And this is going to get people to click on your booking and want to see more. Mm -hmm. And because this in the interiors of this house are so immaculate and stunning, that's not the photo I would use first. There are others that we can talk about later that that are outdoor photos that would maybe be better to include. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I think if you do want to feature an exterior photo, which is wise, I would definitely swap this out. And Val, we can we can look at some other options um, when we're reviewing the photos. Awesome. Um, speaking of photos, one yeah. of the first key takeaways we want to discuss is brightening the photos. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So I'm, um, yeah. Kaylee, <laughs> I know, I know what you're doing with this dark and moody, beautiful space with your vintage touches. It's just Kaylee is a designer. She knows what she's doing. It's a beautiful, beautiful house for the purposes of the listing. I would suggest maybe looking into brightening the photos, at least the shadow points of the photos. So I'm going to show you an example of this photo and what it looks like when the dark shadow points are brightened. Okay. Okay. So this I is know. the before that we're looking at. Yeah. So this is the before. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. So this is the before I took this photo into an app called Lightroom, um, which is an Adobe product kind of similar to Photoshop where you can edit photos easily. You could also do something like this in your phone app. There are free apps you can use so that you don't have to use Lightroom. That's what I did, but I ran a preset through and just brightened the shadow points to make it seem brighter. Like you can actually see the texture of the velvet more on the sofa. So it makes it feel a little bit more inviting and you kind of know more about the space inherently. I was going to say from a layman's perspective, to me, it makes it more inviting. I think sometimes when I see darker colors, it can tend to feel heavy. And so by brightening the photo, Val, for me, it just makes it feel more cozy and inviting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay, exactly. So here's another example. This is a before of the bedroom. Really beautiful. She's got great wallpaper, great style overall. This is the same photo with just those shadow points brightened. Mm -hmm. And there's mm -hmm. lots of different ways. You can, you can play around with the color temperature as well to make something warmer or cooler and make them all seem more consistent. But just brightening up those shadow points just, and I am no photo expert. I am not a guru in this arena <laughs> at all. So it doesn't take a master to be able to do this, to just, you're kind of just like toggling with different switches to see what it might look like when you adjust. And so Val, I'm just curious, um, knowing that you know a little bit about this photo editing, how long did it take you to do to brighten these photos? Two oh, of them. Second, seconds. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it depends on the app you're using. If you, so for Lightroom, if you're using a, the, you know, desktop version, you do have to get the photo 
to Lightroom. So that might take a minute, but if you've already got all your photos saved, you're just kind of dumping it in there mm -hmm. and you can add the same preset to every photo. And it's just, it's super fast. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. So brighten those photos, Kaylee. Cool. All right. Second key takeaway is still on the topic of photos. And this is about auditing the photos, Kaylee. Um, your property, I can tell, has been beautifully renovated and designed. And I can definitely tell from the photos that it used to look different on the exterior. So some of the exterior photos show the most current photo or the most current color, which I believe is navy blue. Um, I'm trying to there, sorry. Okay, you go, girl. No, I'm I'm fine. I'm We're just no. getting a little seasick. No, I'm kidding. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the... This right. is the older one, right? So, so exactly. The house so, is currently dark blue. Correct. So there are photos in here that show the property exterior with a different color altogether. I would remove, It does say, it does say in the caption, the exterior has been painted a darker color. You see in earlier photos, we are waiting the professional photos to replace these. Cool. So she's got a note in there that they're, they're on it. They're going to redo this. And That's I think awesome. she already has redone it. And so I would just make sure that those older pics are removed. Does that yeah, make no, sense? Yeah, no, she's, she's saying they're going to redo the pictures. Oh, you're saying that the, here they are. Correct. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I think she just needs to, it's just a matter of taking down the old ones. Yep. Or maybe they're waiting on some more professional. I don't know. But either way, you can take down the beige ones for now because you've got an exterior here. And it's really lovely. Yeah. I want to say, I think that Kaylee and her husband did most of the work in the house themselves. I think they're DIYers, which is That's amazing. Endlessly impressive to me. That's amazing. All right, cool. So yeah, audit your photos, make sure that there are not any photos included that um, maybe aren't current that I also think from a brightening <laughs> photo perspective, this is a good example of maybe an opportunity, Val. What I just are your delete thoughts? that. I don't know. I just delete that one. I don't think that's yeah. necessary. I see what you're saying, but people know they're going to be in the woods. I mean, look at this landscaping. God, I love hydrangeas. ranges. Yeah. So if uh, you wanted to include an outdoor one, I would make sure you have your really cool, maybe like this guy. Mm -hmm. that shows that you've that. got a fire pit with cool chairs. You can see the cool pizza oven. So maybe that's a better angle for that first photo. Okay. Yeah. All right. Our third key takeaway for Kelly, just look at the style in this house. First of all, I am so in love with all the details that you've put into it. It's stunning. Love it. All right. Third key takeaway. Let's talk about that living room. What are your okay. thoughts about redoing the floor plan? Okay, so um, let me go back because there's a couple of living areas. The one that I want to talk about is here. So in the area right off to the kitchen, you've got these really cool wing back chairs and this lovely little seating area. However, I want to ask Kaylee, I of course don't have the dimensions or I, would, I don't know necessarily if this would work, but I think that this room could be laid out maybe a little bit better to evoke more conversation. So what if you switched the dining area, which is here, there's an overview of the entire room. So could this dining table fit over in this nook closer to the kitchen? And could these chairs come over here with a sofa and let's group them differently in front of this window to create, to face each other so that you've got the two wing back chairs and the sofa facing each other for a conversation zone. And then you've got the dining area closer to the kitchen zone. Okay. Does I that love that. Sense? It makes sense. I, I'm curious, Val. Obviously, she's got that adorable Lake Glenville Cottage sign on the the painted wall. If mm -hmm. the couch is actually positioned differently, would you recommend putting an accent table underneath that? I have a feeling yeah, it could look really bare without something in, underneath. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, if there's room, I think that's a really good point. So you could put a, a little accent table underneath this mm -hmm. right there, because my suggestion is that maybe, again, I don't have the dimensions, but it kind of looks like it would work to put the back of the sofa here facing the window and put those two wing back chairs in front of the window. 
And right. then you might need a little, um, yeah, a little console table to sit here on right. this wall. And I assume you would reposition the area rug as well within yeah. that conversation. Exactly. Section. Love it. Okay, yeah. cool. And, yeah. Okay. I think that's, as long as that makes sense, did I explain it properly? <laughs> what I'm thinking. <laughs> You tell us, Kaylee, if we've, if yes, we've Kaylee. explained it. <laughs> but I think that this, you know, this like convert, this little is, this is such a good vignette. These two mm -hmm. wingback chairs in front of the window. It's beautiful, but they're so far away from the sofa. And it might be more enticing to guests to show that the living area is kind of a cozy nook where you can hang out together. Right. Right. Yeah. Totally love that. Let's talk about something that Kaylee is doing well in our keep it up section. Okay, so Kaylee, you're doing a lot of things well with the interiors. We all know that. Your place is stunning. You are very talented. I noticed when I was looking at your reviews that you do a really good job of responding to people. And I, I also noticed that one of your guests said something about that you wouldn't allow them to turn the heat up as high as they wanted. <laughs> and then I noticed you responded and said, think in a very gracious way, we don't allow our guests to turn the heat up to 85 degrees, which instantly in my mind as a potential guest says, okay, so that's not reasonable for the host, yeah. for the guest to want to turn yeah. the heat up to 85. It's okay for Kaylee to put a ban or a block on that because that's not good for anybody <laughs> right. to have the heat that high. So I just thought that this was a beautiful response to that. And um, we can all take a page from your book and do this really well. Like you've done with just, you were very gracious, you were very kind, but you also stated clearly what that guest was asking for, which wasn't a reasonable right. request. And you also say, you, did, you say in the listing that there's no cell reception, like you made that clear. So, yeah, I think Val, to your point, it is important when we are responding to guest reviews, obviously uh, we want to help that guest understand maybe the reasons why you couldn't accommodate. But what's most important about that response is that you're educating other people who are potentially booking your property as to the situation and how mm -hmm. something that the current guest has requested is completely unreasonable. So that if a potential guest is looking at it, they're going, oh, of course, no problem. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh, Kaylee, we love your place. I um, recently sent it to a couple of friends and I just, I would love to stay there someday when I make it over to North Carolina. It's gorgeous. And thank you so much for submitting. We hope that this was somewhat helpful. And if you are watching this and would love to have your property reviewed on the show, all you have to do is go to betteryourbnb.com and fill out a super simple form. And if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. We love all those likes and subscriptions, and we want to make sure that you um, can get every show that we put out. Thanks for joining us. And thank you, Kaylee, for submitting. We'll see you next time. I'm Valerie Malone. And I'm Stacey St. John. Happy hosting. <laughs>